Hi friends, if you like my videos, subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you. So in this video, let us discuss about scanning electron microscopy. So coming to the principle, it is shortly abbreviated as SEM, SEM, and it is a type of electron microscope that produces images of a sample by scanning the surface with a focused beam of electrons. Electrons will interact with atoms which is present in the sample and produces various signals that contain information of the sample. And here in normal previous types of uh, microscope I have explained you right and the links will be given in the description box but if you see in the case of that type of microscope light source will be used. So what is the main function of the light source? It helps in the production of uh, lights, light in the, in, the, in the form of uh, photons in such a way that that light will fall upon the specimen in such a way that with the help of objective lens and with the help of the ocular lens we can be easily visible that image we can easily uh, see that image but if you see in this case of scanning electron microscope instead of using uh, you know photons i mean instead of using light here we will use electricity that's nothing but generation of electrons so here electron gun plays a major role in this type of microscopy in such a way that the main function of this electron gun is the production of the electrons so with the help of the electrons we can easily watch that image we can easily see that image okay how the image will be visible with the help of this uh, you know scanning electron microscopy let us see now so in this video at the end of the video i'm going to uh, show you the external structure of this electron microscope scanning electron microscope but here i'm just going to explain you the mechanism how the scanning electron microscopy will work okay so normally here electron gun plays a major role right because uh, because in the name itself it indicates the scanning electron microscopy in such a way that it helps in the production of electrons so electrons will be produced by the electron gun and here electron gun will releases electrons and that electrons is allowed to fall upon the anode and here these daughter structures are nothing but the electron beam you know the array normally in the case of that uh, light i mean i mean the focus light we will call it as a light rays but here we should we should call it as an electron beam okay uh, or electron rays but you should not call it as electron rays because we are discussing about here in the form of electricity so we have to name it as electron beam so it falls upon the anode and from the anode this uh, you know this electron beam will fall upon the magnetic lens okay will form upon the magnetic lens so if you see in this uh, it will this is uh, this is also called as a magnetic coil in such a way that it will be disc like structure in such a way that uh, you know that the, all of the electrons will fall in the different directions of that anode i mean that magnetic field uh, so what happens is that there is a presence of hole right and remaining region will be covered so that covered region will stop the flow of electrons but the open region will uh, will allow the will allow or else will pass the electrons to through that hole okay and from that hole the electrons will be float and pass to the magnetic lens and from the magnetic lens again the electrons will move to the scanning coils so here scanning coils backscattered electron detector and secondary electron detector plays a major role and these three will get connected to a tv scanner in such a way that in tv scanner we can easily find the image so here uh, these electrons will fall upon the specimen which is which is placed upon the base plate so this is the base plate of the electron microscope upon the base plate there is the presence of specimen or as any type of sample which you take and then electrons is allowed to fall upon this uh, specimen then what happens is that immediately uh, you know uh, before before explaining this the, here we have to go to the mechanism of electron detection so normally these are the electrons right these electrons are passed upon the specimen right through this uh, through these parts these electrons will the electron flow will pass upon the specimen or as any type of sample which you take then immediately what happens is that the, uh, the electrons may either absorb or either reflect or either it forms secondary electrons so this is that mechanism which you have to remember and the absorbed electrons will be detected by the scanning coils and the reflected electrons will be detected by the backscattered electron backscattered is nothing but uh, you know reflect you know uh, backscattering it reflecting okay and secondary electron is nothing but it will, it will be detected by the secondary electron detector so uh, detecting of the electron is nothing but uh, detecting the type of the image which will be represented by that electron because it has been fall upon this uh, you know it has been passed upon the specimen right so when these electrons pass upon the specimen then image will be formed so that image will be detected by these three detectors you know scanning coils detector and this backscatter electron detector and secondary electron detector so these three detectors will connected to the tv scanner and this tv scanner in this tv scanner we can easily uh, find the type of the image you know the, the image which you want or else the image which you placed in the specimen 
that image will be formed in this TV scanner with the help of these detectors. So in this way, the scanning electron microscope will work. So again, I'm going to say in a simple manner. So uh, in the main, the main aim of this scanning electron microscope is that it help it it works in the position. You know, it works upon the uh, presence of the electrons but not through the light source so light source is nothing but the release of release of photons but the electricity is nothing but the release of electrons so from the electron gun electrons will be released out and that electrons will be fall upon this anode as we know that this anode is a dislike structure the surrounding region will stop this flow of the electrons but the uh, whole region i mean the open region will allow the flow you know it will, it will allow to pass to the other part and the other part is nothing but here magnetic lens and from the magnetic lens it falls upon the scanning coils and like that it pass upon the specimen the electron the flow of the electrons will pass upon the to the specimen then what happens is that it exhibits three type of mechanism in such a way that the electrons flow which will absorb which will reflect and which will uh, form the secondary electrons and these three these three mechanisms will be detected by the three detectors here and these three detectors will get connected to a tv scanner in such a way that the image will be formed as a cv scanner so this is about the scanning electron microscopy